Welcome to Expose It, I'm Lisa Cannon. Coming to you from Times Square in London's Leicester Square, Alicante in Spain, at the Tribeca Film Festival, the pre-Oscar party with a host of celebrities. Top of the morning to you. How are you, Alan? Darling, you're fabulous. <laughs> no, but you got a good accent. I know. Here we are on the red carpet in Glasgow for the premiere of the Hollywood hunk, Glaswegian native himself, Jared Butler. Shut up! I was working out in your video the other week. I've been pumping my abs to look as good as you. I believe I'm your 150th interview in the last two weeks. Been in the last two hours. Oh. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Actually, I think I've got more makeup on than you have tonight. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. I just sniffed Beyonce. of Australia's next top model was left mortified last night as she called out the wrong name when announcing the winner. It's a film I never, ever, ever, ever want to see again. Oh. I think that's a bit ridiculous, to be honest. I mean, it's very hard to curb nature. It always finds yeah. a way. Of course, Michael Douglas will be back in the hot seat again. I mean, he's Looks wonderful great. and he Looks does great. look well in this film. But I love all those action yeah. thrillers, bombs, blowing up explosions. I'm an awful tomboy, you see. <laughs> it was another weekend of drama as The X Factor reached boot camp. Staff on a Hollywood soundstage were left in a panic last Friday when they had to keep two of the world's biggest stars apart. The countdown to the most anticipated movie of 2010 starts in earnest today as Carrie and co give us a hint of what to expect from Sex and the City 2. You ask a lot of questions. I do, it's my job. What are your dating tips, Janice? Because you've dated a fair few. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Wanted to know, are you trying to up David Beckham with the style stakes? Uh, do you ever, ever take your hat off, even when you go to blue? Yeah. I spotted a diamond ring on your finger. Can you please tell me what that's about? You've kind of got a bit of a bad boy reputation about you, which women love. Do you live up to your reputation, Mr. Butler? Yeah, probably. Come on. It's not all that bitchiness that you hear about back no, then. No, no, no. What's it like to be in the best rock and roll band in the world? Fantastic. You want to come and join us? Come on. It's a long way to come and visit you, but I think you're worth it. Huh? I think you're worth it. Well, it was totally worth it for me to drive seven minutes to sit with you. I don't know where it's the lights are. It's just hot to have you both here. Oh, well, there you go. The lights. Anyway, yeah. four of them, two of us. <laughs> My mother says the best looking men are half Irish. Is that all right? Can I clean that? Sure, you can. That, 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 that sounds good to me. Is that a bit rude to say? Oh, that's good. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a compliment I hear. I worked on Sex and the City back in 2000. I used to deliver scripts to your trailer. No, you didn't. I did. Oh I did. Oh, my God. What, have I well behaved? Oh, I'd love to have coffee with you and chat about you about spirituality and emotions and mortality. We all have a little bit of a girl crush on you. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's it from day one here at the Tribeca Film Festival. I'm off to the after party.